let's learn how to export artboards as separate PDFs in Illustrator in this quick and simple tutorial. On my screen here, I have eight artboards. So if I want to save these as individual PDFs, not a whole PDF, start by making sure you are happy with the export options. So if you come to File, Document Color Mode, double check you're in the right color mode. If you want to add bleed, come to Document Setup and add your bleed here. I'm not gonna add it for mine. And finally, if you come to your Artboard tool, double check you are happy with the width and height and the measurements of each artboard. So let's come out of artboard mode and from there, file, export, export for screens. So in my artboards panel, you can see I've got all eight artboards selected here. So I can either select to export them all or I can set a range. So say for example, three to eight. So I'm gonna select all. If you have bleed, you can check this to include the bleed. The export option will pull the artboard name. So if you want to change this, you can simply double click and change the name here for all the individual pages. Once you've named them, select a save location. So I'm gonna select my generic DWD images folder and press choose. You can choose to open the location after export if you like, and you can also create a subfolder. So if you select this, it will put all your PDFs in a PDF folder. Now here's the most important thing. Make sure you've set the format to PDF and make sure you set export PDFs as multiple files. That will then export each artboard as an individual PDF. Lastly, you do have the option to add a prefix to every file. So for example, if I said Dale underscore, every file would be Dale underscore artboard1.pdf, Dale underscore artboard2.pdf, and so on and so forth. So this is entirely up to you. You can add this, you don't have to add this. And once you're happy with all these export settings, simply click export artboard. So let's quickly check the export, come to my DWD folder, there's my PDF folder, and there are my individual artboards saved as separate PDFs. Now it's quickly worth noting this method won't give you the same control as if you went to File, Save As, Saved As PDF, and click Save. Here you'll get the Save Adobe PDF export box, which gives you a lot more control in terms of compression, in terms of output, all those things, as if you were exporting all those different options. So you will be able to not make as many changes during the export option, but this is a very quick way to export tens, even hundreds of artboards at the same time as separate PDFs. So there you have it. It's that simple to export your artboards as PDF files in a matter of seconds. So I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing and I will see you for the next tutorial.